Guys, in this video, you will learn to set up an automation to get Slack messages automatically on receiving a new email. So guys, if you want to keep a tab on your email inbox and you do not want to miss out any important email, this automation is for you. And this automation is going to save your time and keep you and your team updated about the incoming emails that you're getting in a particular inbox. So here guys, we are going to set up an automation to connect your Gmail inbox with Slack and we are going to set up it without any coding super simply. So let me show you how you can set up this automation. So we are setting up this automation using Pabli Connect, which is an automation tool. And this is the landing page of Pabli. And I have pasted the same link in the description as well. So from here, you can sign up for free and you will get free automation tasks every month to test and set up your automations. So you can just sign up right now from the given link. And after that, follow me through the video and you can set up your first automation. Okay. So here, after signing in, you just need to, after signing up, you just need to sign in and you will reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect. And from here, guys, you have to click on this create workflow button. And here you can give a name to your workflow. So I'm giving the name here as Gmail to Slack integration. Okay, after giving the name, just click on this create button. And you can see your workflow page is loading up here like this. And here you will find these two modules, the trigger and the action. So our automations are based on these two things, the trigger and the action. So trigger is the event which starts the workflow and the action is an automated response or the consequence of the trigger. So in this use case, guys, receiving of a mail in Gmail inbox will act as a trigger for this workflow and the action would be to send a notification message about this new email to Slack channel. Okay, so here in this trigger, guys, we are going to use email parser feature of Pavli Connect, which is going to parse out incoming emails from your Gmail inbox. Okay, so select email parser uh, and it will give you this email address. And with the help of this, we are going to create a connection with our email inbox with this workflow. Okay, so let me show you my inbox. Here it is. So from here, guys, you need to click on settings and under settings page, click on all settings. All right. And here, guys, you will find this forwarding and pop IMAP option. Click on it. And here you have to uh, click on this add a forwarding address button. So you can see I have already forwarded I have already added a forwarding address. Let me remove this to make it clear to you. All right. So this is how you will find this button here. Add a forwarding address. So you have to click on it. And here you have to paste this address that you have got. So click on copy from here and paste this address here. Then click on next. Okay. And from this small window, click on proceed. So it will deliver a test email to your workflow. Okay, so you can see a confirmation code has been sent to this address. So guys, in the response section here, you will find this kind of response. Okay. So here in this response, when you scroll down, you will find this body text label. And in this body text label, you will find this confirmation code written here. So you just have to copy this code. And you have to paste this code here, click on OK. And in this verification code field, paste the code, then click on verify and your forwarding address will be verified. Now you have to check this box here. Okay, forward a copy to this address, then you have to scroll down and click on save changes. Okay, so you can see uh, it is written here, you are forwarding your emails to this address. Okay, so we have added the forwarder here. Now, whenever a new email is going to come here in this inbox, the workflow will be triggered and capture the details of the email like this. Let me show you. So guys here, I am going to click on recapture email parsers response. And then I will send a mail to this email inbox from any other email account. Okay. And as I am going to send an email to this inbox, this uh, response will be captured here. Let me show you. I'm clicking on recapture button, then click on yes. 
and here you can see it started showing waiting for the response now let me send an email to this in email inbox so that the details of the email should be captured here okay so guys i have received a new email here in this inbox let's see in our workflow if we got the data captured of this email and here you can see guys we got the data captured of an incoming email which we have received and here when you scroll down you will find all the details and the content of the email as well from this body text label you can see the content okay this is the content of the email right so we got the email captured along with the details of who signed us this email from where this email is coming the subject and all the things right now guys i want to inform about this new email to my team on slack and i also want that whenever i receive uh, the email with a particular kind of subject or from a particular email address then only i want to inform my team i do not want to inform the team about every email that is coming to my inbox that will be not relevant okay so for that guys i'm going to filter out the emails using filter feature of pavli so here in this action step i'm going to select filter option okay and with the help of this filter we can apply a condition that whenever this particular email arrives or from this user the email arrives then only inform the team on slack so here it is asking select the label so in the previous steps you can see we have received these kind of labels okay right and also we have received a subject label also so when you click here and search for subject label <clears throat> you will find the subject label here like this okay and in the subject you can see it is written important and this was the same subject you can see important okay so just select the subject and in the filter type select contains option and in the value put important so what does it mean we are saying to filter that whenever the subject of the emails contains this word the important word then only uh, inform my team okay so whenever i am going to receive an email with with this word containing in the subject this workflow is going to continue and send a slack message okay so click on save and send test request button and here you can see right now it is showing condition is true okay now uh, when this condition is true we want to send a message to my team on slack for that click here on this plus icon and another action step will open up and from here select slack option slack application and the action event would be send channel message then click on connect from here select add new connection then click on connect with slack and here it is asking uh, to use either of these two, two token types available for slack connection so we have user and bot as token types so for either of the token we have different kind of permission accesses to slack so you can learn about the access permissions by clicking on this here word written in blue you will reach this play page here the forum page of pavli and here you can read about the user uh, token type and these are the permissions you will get and the bot token type okay so right now i'm using user as a token type okay so click on save and it will bring you to this window so if you are not logged in it might bring you to the login window as well from here you have to select the space then you have to click on allow and you can see we are getting connected with slack okay so we are now connected and here it is asking for the channel's name so here is my channel let me show you so this is my slack application and this is the general channel here i want to send the message to my team okay so i'm going to select this channel's name general okay and in the message i'm going to type hello team we have received a new important email following is the content okay so i have written this message hello team we have received a new important email following is the content and 
for sending the whole content, we are going to use the previous steps. You can see as I'm clicking here, the previous steps are appearing in the drop down. So from this first step, I'm going to map the body text label that we have received here. You can see this is the body text label, just map it. So in this label, you will receive the whole email and you can map it in the message like this. So when you map the labels here, guys, like this, in real time, after setting up this automation, whenever you are going to receive a new email with important word containing in the subject, these labels are going to be updated here and the emails will be delivered to your ch uh, Slack channel automatically. Okay, that's why it is important to map the labels, right? Now you can check your connection. We, you can see we have many options here. You can use uh, all the options, but right now, these are not compulsory options, so I'm leaving these things as it is. Now you can check your connection with Slack by clicking on save and send test request button. So when I click on save and send test request button, a test message will be delivered to this general channel we have. Let's see, I'm clicking on save and send test request. And this is the response we have received. And let's see in our channel if we got a new message. And here you can see guys, we got a new message for team. Hello team, we have received a new important email. And here you can see guys, this is the same email we have received here, got captured here in this message, okay? So this is how it is going to work. This is how you can automatically notify your team about the important emails that you're getting. And you have to set up this automation only once. After that, you don't have to do anything manually in the workflow. After that, whenever you are going to receive a new important email, the, the notification messages will be delivered to your team automatically. And guys, you can use this workflow as well as I'm going to paste the link of this workflow in the description and you can clone it in your own free public connect account and start using this automation instantly. Guys, thank you so much for watching our video and please, please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section. And if you have any queries related to this application, please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link. And guys, we are open to ideas. If you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business, please do let us know in the comment section. And if you like our work, please subscribe to our channel.